is up, guys? It is the gaming news stuff here. Whoa, that was loud. Sorry about that. I had to move something to make sure the video was recording. But we are here with some more Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And today is the day that most have been waiting for. Most free-to-play players. Now, if you have not yet been on, you won't have seen this. But the Rogue One characters have been dropped into free-to-play areas. This is awesome. Now, let's go through where they are found. By Stan, Cantina Battle Store. So this is in the Squad Cantina shipments. You know where that is. Bay's Malbus. Light Side Battle 9C Hard. Just after Shore Trooper. Unfortunately, I don't yet have that stage of Light Side unlocked. I'm going to have to work on my Light Side team to beat it. So unfortunately, I will not be able to find Bayes Malbus yet. But I'm, I could tell from the beginning he was going to be in there. He's such a good character. They don't want to make it easy to get him. K2SO, Galactic War Store. Jin Erso, Guild Store. Cassian Andor, Squad Arena Store. And Chirrut Imwi, Fleet Store. Now this is exciting because you can get... Chirrut is a really good character and he's going to be in the Fleet Store. So he won't always be there, but when he is... Grab him. In addition to these drop locations, each of the above characters now have a chance to appear in shipments. Although they did already. They were already all appearing in shipments. But let's ignore that. Also, the new Chromium Pack characters, Darth Nihilus, Sith Trooper, and Sith Assassin, have been added to the Chromium Packs. So, if you're buying Chromium Packs, the, per the uh, possible pay-to-play characters you can get now are Krennic Death Trooper, and the Sith units. So that is pretty cool. So, what we're going to do... I've been saving up these tokens, as you can see up here, 14,000. Because I've had nothing to spend them on. And now, we have Cassian. Now, I don't know if Cassian's good. But I'm going to farm him anyway, because he's new. And why not? So we're going to grab ourselves a Cassian in there. And then we're going to come over to the classic Galactic War. And buy ourselves a K2SO. Being on Apple for this account, I have not got any K2SO shards yet, so that is exciting. Now we're going to have a look in the fleet store to see if Chirrut is in here yet. No, Chirrut is not currently in here for me. You, on the other hand, he might be there, which is awesome. And we will also go and see if Mrs. Ginerso is in the guild store. Can't afford her, but not currently, unfortunately. Over... Here we have Bystan, as I said, in the uh, Cantina store. So that is pretty cool. If you have been looking to get Bystan farmed up quite a bit. And if we have a look at Mr. Bay's Malbus. Ooh, there's a little sneak peek of what we're talking about next. If you have a look at Mr. Bay's Malbus, he is in 9C hard. So like I said, I'm going to have to be working on my light side team to get there. Next up, we're going to talk about this the new characters that have now officially been added to the game their events are over the next few weeks we have the art of demolition event sabine ren we have looked over all these characters abilities and whatnot before so we're not going to go over them today practice makes perfect event for ezra bridger and the honor guard event for garazeb aurelius yes that is right all three of those characters have now been added to the game. As you can see, we have Sabine Wren sitting right there. Garazeb Zeb Aurelios with a sick weapon. I've honestly never watched Rebels, so this weapon looks awesome. Holy moly, it's like a, a magma, magna guard stick, but looks better. And Ezra Bridger chilling here with his little lightsaber. Not bad. This will bring the Phoenix Squad into full effect. Now you may be looking at this screen right now thinking, hang on a second, there's a character there that I don't recognise. And that's because another new character has entered the fray and his name is Pao or Pao. I think it's Pao. Now this character is going to be the April monthly login. So log in every day and you will be able to get Pao. And I assume there'll be other ways to get him too. Now let's have a look at Pow's abilities. So we're going to have a look at the maxed out versions. Deal physical damage to target enemy. 
If Pow has any buffs, deal damage again. If the target has any debuffs, deal damage a third time. So it is possible with Pow to deal three lots of damage. This is Princess Leia style attack. That is awesome. And you can actually judge when it's going to happen. So if you're running a team with, say for example, Vader on your team, and a buffer on your team, for example, General Kenobi, and this guy, you will get three attacks pretty much every time. Now this character is a rebel, so they are adding even more rebels to the rebel squad. Rebels don't want to die. As we know, Phoenix are also rebels, and now all the Rogue One characters are farmable, so rebels are not going anywhere by the looks of it. Next up, we have Sarkala. Let's go to the final one. All allies gain offense up for two turns. That is good in itself. And Pow gains 40% turn meter. So if you use this attack, he gains 40. Holy moly. But it has a cooldown of 11. So you can use this once in a game, pretty much. Unless you can draw that game on ridiculously long. Maxed out, it has a cooldown of 11. That is a ridiculously high cooldown. Sonic Grenade. Deal physical damage to all enemies with a 70% chance to inflict offense down for two turns. Now, apparently this ability has a cooldown of 11 as well. Now, maybe this is a glitch or maybe these abilities are incredibly strong and they only want you using them once per game. For Pipada, maxed. Whenever a rebel ally uses a basic R, this makes sense now. Whenever a rebel ally uses a basic attack, reduce Pow's cooldowns by one, and Pow gains 5% turn meter. So, if you have a full team of rebels, that's five rebels, including Pow, every time they attack, it reduces his cooldowns by one. So, you can have these abilities probably ready within three turns, or two turns even, if you're going full on basic. So, that makes sense why they have such a high cooldown. So this is the brand new monthly login character. Like I said, guys, you cannot find him at the moment. He is nowhere to be seen until April. Now, honestly, this is a pretty exciting combination of things to happen today. Like, four brand new characters added into the game. All the Rogue One characters now farmable. Um, while this is loading, guys, let me know if you have beaten 9C light side hard or you think you'll be able to beat it quite easily i want to know if you'll be farming bay's malbus for the rest of your days now let's make sure there's nothing we've missed other than that the only thing is that april heralds star wars celebration now i've seen this all over the place star wars celebration in april I'm not 100 percent sure what this means for the game exactly but i have a feeling it means we are going to get some sick, sick things. That's what we can hope for. And as you guys can see, all the events, Honor Guard, Practice Makes Perfect, and Art of Demolition are all in-game as well. One day until the Honor Guard event to unlock, uh, unlock Zeb Shards. So guys, stay tuned because tomorrow there will be a video on Garazeb Aurelios or Zeb. And we'll be unlocking him, seeing how he goes and whatnot. Because obviously we get to use the character as well as unlock them. And stay tuned for just me hopefully farming the Rogue One characters up. Because that is going to be my plan. I've run out of characters to farm in both Galactic War and Squad Arena. So now I have something to go for. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, if you like these update videos. And let me know if you are currently able to farm Baze Malbus or super close. And guys, leave a comment down below on anything that I just mentioned, because I just said that. And subscribe to never miss another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video, or any other video for that matter. And guys, peace out.